Well, it's snowing again outside, so I figured let's do a mail day video. All right, two boxes in today's video. This one here is a weird, long shape one. I think we got some cartridges in here. Let's open them and find out. Got them ready. Let's ignore this stuff. This is stuff for our Steve's World Review channel. Back here. We got to review those pretty soon. All right, let's open these up. What is this? WWF Royal Rumble. What is this all about? Well, that's got funky smelling bubble wrap. Here we go. BC, Quest for Tires. It's okay again. Can you tell? What's this in this for? ColecoVision. It's got that weird shape and a tiny circuit board. A lot smaller than a Commodore 64 the circuit board covers the whole bottom. Mr. Do. Oh, these got some funky smell to it. I'm not saving this bubble wrap. Smurfs. So I had like all these games back in the day. Doc Young. I can't sell Doc Young. I know it's a pack-in game. I think someone would need it. Another game I had back in the day. One more. I actually, I think with the Atari soft cartridges, most of them are missing their end label. So what's the winner in this lot? Galaxian is worth the most. How much did I pay for six cartridges? I paid five dollars each. So thirty dollars plus shipping. Hey, now remember to keep watching. We are going to run downstairs and test these on the ColecoVision. Look at this, this crazy shape box. But like me, I try to recycle boxes as much as possible when you're shipping. Because a shipping box, could, like this costs like a dollar, even off of Uline, where I get my shipping boxes. Thank you. You are welcome. What I got? I don't know. What? What is this? I have a feeling there's manuals in here. This is a great wrapping job. Oh. Clico catalog. It's not really worth anything, but it's really cool. I probably could sell that for uh, maybe a dollar. Wow. What a mess. Where do we start? Well, let's take everything out of the box. They did a great wrapping job, but how am I going to unwrap all this and try to save this bubble wrap? All right. Let's cut back and like, this will take like forever. All right. We'll cut back when I get this done. 10 minutes later, we're back. I try to save some bubble wrap. Thank you so much, uh, Scotch Tape on there, guys. Have you ever priced? Have you priced Scotch Tape lately? It's so expensive. I wouldn't want to use a whole roll, a whole roll of Scotch Tape for this, but... One or two pieces of scotch tape's enough. Anyways, we got what, uh, 16 cartridges here. Got this one with the glare on it. Uh, what we got? We got Turbo. Great game with the driving controllers. Which one should we go downstairs and test? Uh, the big one here is Frenzy. That's a $20 cartridge right there. How much did I pay for these 16 cartridges? I paid $5 each for these. Both of these items were won in auctions. Uh, I know with this one here, it's missing the end label. We might go print one out. Sub rock up here. It's not real expensive. None of these are real expensive, but they're good games. So let's run downstairs and test some of these. Oh, what's this? An old 99 cents price tag. Is that like a value village price tag, do you think? All right, let's go test some of these games downstairs. So I got out the click vision Have I showed you? This is the controllers I use. And also, have, have I showed you this ColecoVision controller? ColecoVision. Uh, I made a video about this controller, and I don't know if I have it posted online yet or not. I need to get this online. I like this controller. Let's test some games. Nice thing with uh, Centipede, you don't have that BIOS boot screen, so we're gonna go ahead and use this controller here. Yeah, comment below, do you like Centipede? If I remember when I edit this, I'll put a picture of my uh, Centipede arcade machine. I put a lot of work into that. I had to replace that monitor. That monitor, well, I was having a party one day and somebody was like, what's on fire? Do you know what? What was on fire? It was my Centipede arcade machine. That's when the arcade was here in my basement. And uh, so it was like electronic stuff burned. It wasn't an actual fire. It smelled like a fire, but uh, that was kind of scary. I'm like, oh crap. Of course, I do have a couple fire extinguishers close by uh, the arcade machines because 
They're old. They definitely can start electronic fire. Okay, what game should we test next? That lags in. I love how it just boots right into the game. I didn't have this game back in the day. Oh. Died already. But I would have loved it to have this. This would have been so much fun. Why didn't I have this? I don't know. I had a ton of click vision games. This wasn't one of them. Maybe I had Gorf instead. Do I have Gorf over here? Wait, there is a Gorf for click vision isn't there? All right, let's try some out. This cartridge works. PC Quest for power. And if you know, I have that BIOS skip boot, the BIOS fast boot in here. So I can uh, skip that long wait. Let's see. I gotta figure it down. I'm just trying to figure out the jump button here. Hold on. No, it's push up. Oh, I don't like the controls at all in this game. The buttons not do anything? Oh yeah, this game's not that good, but it's collectible. I think people like the metal case on this. Next game. What I got? I don't remember this game being so jumpy, do you? It's not real smooth scrolling. What's going on here? Do you guys? Game's not very good, is it? Subrock. Oh, okay, that's a really cool explosion. Next up, Frenzy. You know, it's like Berserk, but part two. Berserk, part two. Where am I? Oh, right here, I'm about, I'm about to die. <laughs> That's a pretty cool death scene, huh? Is there no speech in here? Did uh, Click Vision not have speech? I can bounce bullets. I haven't played this in so long, but pretty cool. Saxon. Saxon was always a great game for the click vision. And it's one that's that sold me to like how cool it advanced. Uh the click vision was at the time. If you watch my video on the worst arcade conversions for the uh Atari 2600, you know Saxon is like one of them. For the 2600 and then you have the click vision which is the 3d aspect you know it's just like the arcade Let's do one more game. How about Donkey Kong Jr.? Never good at this game though. I love Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Jr., not so much. There we go. All right, I guess that wasn't the jump button. Seemed like it was the jump button. 
Okay, let's just go this way. Not good at Duck Country. Hey, comment below if I should test any other games. And there you go. Screen two. Alright. No, oh, not this screen again. Alright, thanks you for watching. Subscribe, watch another video. Thank you.